Hey there, the Joyful Yogini here. Oh, I'm shuffling my cards. It's time for the weekly reading. It's a little bit late, uh, considering I'm filming this on Wednesday now, but we also had a holiday Monday, and then yesterday was just a really busy day. So I am pulling cards from the Akashic Tarot deck. I had every intention of doing my hair and, um, you know, looking a little bit more presentable. My girls are home for the week. Can't get into the bathroom. <laughs> so it's just what I'm dealing with it right with right now. So I'm just going to flow with it. And uh, it's not too bad. It's just a little flat. But that's okay. All right. So the first card is Archangel Raphael. And he is holding. I'm going to show you the card. So he is holding a uh, green crystal. And you can see a beautiful pink light shining from his heart space. So green and pink are both associated with the heart center. And so I'm actually gonna read what uh, message is in the book, but basically Archangel Raphael, um, he can be called upon to help with a heart healing. So if you've had anything come up, I've had very interesting dreams and definitely associated with past relationships and needing to clear out some junk and get further clarity on, let's say, patterns and what I was accepting within my life. So here we go. The Archangel Raphael walks down a path and approaches you, sharing his healing and uplifting light. He is a profoundly loving spirit who has an important role in bringing the Akashic power to you. The beautiful being carries the energy of love, family, miracles, healing, and blessed journeys. He can share all these intentions and experiences with you and more. Of all of the angels, Raphael most often comes to the guise, uh, in the guise of a human. The card can indicate that helpful others may be attending you now. It also portends a time of great achievement in your personal life. And Raphael is opening the door. Blessings abound with this card upright. There may be a renewal of a lost dream, a reuniting of, a reuniting of family members or a healing, perhaps of a physical condition or of a broken heart. Even if these conditions have been hanging on for a while, now is the time for you to really break through. Let Raphael be your partner in this process and you soon will see why they call him the miracle worker. So I love that card. All right, Archangel Raphael, bring it on. Um, I would love to have your assistance and the assistance of others. Okay, Archangel Gabriel is also here. I'll show you Gabriel huge wings and it also looks like a dove. I can't quite see what's in his other hand. So we'll go to the explanation as well. This is one of my newer decks that I got this summer. I'm just getting used to them. And when I go right to the deck, it's just because I know there's gonna be an awesome message that uh, it would be great for us to hear, so. Okay, Gabriel is the divine, the divine messenger, the archangel of communication. He comes with his trumpet and a scroll, as well as two gentle sparrows, signify powerful yet peaceful expression. On his chest, he wears the crest of Mercury, the god of communication. This loving angel carries the sacred words of truth into the world and brings them easily to you. When this card appears upright, it indicates a powerful or a profound connection to this wonderful presence. Your power of expression is on the rise now. You will have an easier time communicating with others, expressing your feelings, and even working on projects involving communication, such as publishing, counseling, teaching, mediumship, journalism, marketing, radio, or television. Now is the time for any of, these, any of these endeavors. But no matter what you do, remember the power of words. Call on Gabriel to inspire you and let yourself sing out. Love it. 
<laughs> so it's a time for, for us to shine and especially within our own creative expression um, and, and to communicate um, our, our own individual messages, our own gifts through creative expression. So that's beautiful. So we have Archangel Raphael and we have Archangel Gabriel working with us. Okay, uh, there's some essential oils that are also coming to mind for the remainder of this week. So rosemary is coming up and that really helps with um, the solar plexus. I'm feeling that that would be very advantageous to put a drop on your solar plexus to help with the expansion of that confidence, that courage, that willpower, that inner strength. Um, I'm also getting lavender and putting a little bit maybe on your throat because it can help with communication. You can also put a drop on your third eye or on your crown to help with bringing in beautiful messages uh, for, um, uh, to help with guiding you. Uh, if you're interested in joining one of my classes, so I have yoga classes. Uh, they have already begun, except my Monday classes are starting October the 16th, so this coming Monday. My other ones, you can still join though, and I can prorate it uh, to be eight weeks long, as a, unless you want to start this week, then it could be uh, nine weeks long, or I also have some drop-ins available. Something I'm really excited about is my adult improv program, so if you do live locally, you can join that. I, I used to be so worried about Anytime I was put on the spot to like even introduce myself, I'd get a lip quiver, an eye twitch. I would get so stressed out, worried about failure, worried about uh, judgment, worried I wouldn't be able to handle whatever life is going to throw me. It used to always be in my head with, you know, worries just like swirling around. Um, but improv helped me so much. And it wasn't just because I did only improv, it was because I, put myself through an emotional intelligence boot camp. Because once you can integrate with improv emotional awareness as well as some emotional intelligence strategies together, it can help you to be able to walk through fears. And with my class, you walk through it while you're having a blast. You get addicted to laughing and playing every week. And so that starts Monday, October the 16th. You don't have to feel like you're funny. You don't have to feel like you are creative in any way. You just have to be open to be able to laugh. Laugh, play, be a goofball to the best of your ability wherever you are at. Perfection is definitely not required. So uh, if you want, you can book a 15 minute meet and greet with me so you can ask me all the questions that you want. Um, you can just send me a DM and I can send you my calendar. Uh, or you can DM me questions. So whatever you like. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week. Enjoy whatever sunshine is peeking through this week. Soak it up from my light to yours. Namaste. Bye.